For Canon, we have a history of innovating around the 35mm full-frame DSLR. The EOS 1DS was the first digital SLR to offer a full-frame 35mm sensor. The 1DS Mark II and 1DS Mark III offered market-leading resolution, while the EOS 5D brought full-frame digital SLR photography to a much wider audience. The EOS 5DS and the EOS 5DSR continue this full-frame lineage by heralding a new dawn in DSLR image quality. A newly developed and manufactured Canon CMOS sensor offers unparalleled resolution without compromising the three core pillars of the EOS system – speed, ease of use and high image quality. Making its debut in a body based around the award-winning EOS 5D Mark III, the 50.6 megapixel sensor offers levels of creative freedom not previously seen in a 35mm DSLR, outputting a 60.5 megabyte RAW file straight from the camera. Both the 5DS and the 5DSR will sit alongside the 5D Mark III within the EOS lineup. The brain of the 5DS and 5DSR are the dual Digic 6 processors, which enable the cameras to shoot full resolution JPEGs at 5 frames a second for over 500 frames with a UDMA 7 CF card. The Digic 6 processors also help with the precision of the 150,000 pixel EOS ITR AF system that is inherited from the EOS 7D Mark II. The 5DS and 5DSR have the same 61-point AF system found within the 1DX and the 5D Mark III. This provides the user with 41 cross-type AF points that can be used when shooting at either f2.8 or f4. Canon is dedicated to providing tools for professional photographers. And the 5DS was provided to five of the Canon explorers to make sure we got their input. David Noten, Eberhard Shuey, Joel Santos, Fernando Guerrera and Quentin Caffier were all given the chance to try this product. Their conclusion was unanimous. This is truly a new dawn for the digital SLR camera. The Canon Inc. engineers are constantly pushing the boundaries for digital SLR technology. The 5DS and the 5DSR are the next step in their ongoing quest for high resolution imagery. Under the skin of both of these cameras are significant technological and micro-engineering advancements that have helped us achieve this. Historically, the EOS range has had a low-pass filter in front of the digital sensor. This has helped to remove artifacts such as false colour and moiré, which are incredibly hard to remove even in post-processing. However, this involves a small sacrifice in image sharpness. While the 5DS has a traditional low-pass filter, the 5DSR has a low-pass filter cancellation feature, increasing the resolving power of this camera. We feel that the 5DSR will specifically appeal to studio and landscape photographers who are looking for that extra resolving power. Both of these cameras feature a mirror vibration control system. As the mirror moves when you're shooting, it causes small vibrations within the camera. And these vibrations can cause image shake, which means that in very high resolution photos, you can see blur that obviously you don't want to have. Both of these new cameras feature a cam-driven mirror mechanism as well as a revised base plate, which could help eliminate vibrations which could ruin your imagery. Ensuring critical sharpness at such high resolution means that every component within the image capturing process needs to be managed down to the finest detail. Unique to the 5DS and 5DSR are new crop modes that allow photographers to choose their desired crop or aspect ratio for any particular situation. These cameras offer full frame shooting at 8,688 by 5,792 pixels. You can shoot with a 1.3 crop that will give you a 30.5 megapixel still image. Or using the 1.6 crop factor, you can get a 19.6 megapixel still. And all of these are available from both cameras. 
Thanks to the intelligent viewfinder, these crop modes, along with a vast array of other shooting information, are visible within the viewfinder as a masked display. Of course, it's not just the incredible sensor that makes these cameras so special. Included within both the 5DS and the 5DSR is a time-lapse mode that allows photographers to shoot still frames at specific intervals. The camera will then be able to combine these to create a single movie clip. In addition to the time-lapse mode, you will also find a new fine detail picture style, a customizable quick control screen, in-camera image processing and an auto white balance feature that offers either an ambient lighting priority or a white priority on your subject to make sure that the image is perfectly balanced every time you shoot. These are just some of the new additional features you'll find in both of these new cameras. It's this attention to detail that keeps Canon at the forefront of DSLR technology.